Early this morning, the General Assembly gave final passage to a bill that could end the participation of transgender girls in Georgia high school sports. Yeah, the measure leaves the decision up to the Georgia High School Association. As Fox Size Claire Sims reports, it was one of Governor Brian Kemp's sine die priorities. Governor Kemp addressed both the House and the Senate here at the state capitol Monday night and told them they still had work to do, specifically when it came to what he called fairness in school sports. Isn't it true that the anti-trans bill is attached to this bill? As the vote clock ticks down, State Senator Sally Harrell tries to alert her colleagues to the amendment hastily added to House Bill 1084. In the final That's hour the of the 2022 the session, the House voted to add language to create an executive oversight committee for the Georgia High School Association and task them with determining whether it should prohibit transgender girls from participating in girls' athletics. Senator Harrell says members of the Senate hadn't even seen the amended bill before passing it 32 to 21. They had to do it that way, then maybe the legislation wasn't ready to pass. Uh, I think it was uh, uh, driven by by politics, um, by the governor's campaign to be able to say that he passed something this session. House Speaker David Ralston called the bill a compromise. A, uh, if you read the uh, compromise that we reached, uh, there was no mandate from the General Assembly as to what to do. Uh, we have now uh, basically adopted the NCAA model by kicking it over to the uh, uh, GHSA uh, and uh, we're going to let them make those determinations. While Democrats weren't part of that compromise, Senator Harrell says the final language was an improvement over earlier proposals. We're never going to have a, a good policy on this issue come out that's not politicized if it's gone, if it goes through the general, Georgia General Assembly. Having it be part of the Georgia High School Association actually gives me some hope that um, we'll arrive at better decisions. In a statement to Fox 5, Georgia High School Association Executive Director Robin Hines said he has not yet had time to review the bill. At first glance, the GHSA will need to determine if they believe this is an issue that needs a bylaw clarification that goes beyond the current policy of accepting member schools' gender determination. I reached out to the governor's office and a spokesperson said they do not yet have a bill signing scheduled for the legislation. At the state capitol, Claire Sims, Fox 5 News.